softening your heart. It's a story about Moses and Pharaoh and how the Pharaoh did not want to soften his heart. Okay, so Moses went back to the land of Egypt where he was raised and the Lord wanted him to help deliver the people from bondage. His people were in slavery there. So the Lord told Moses to go and talk to Pharaoh and tell Pharaoh that the Lord wanted him to let that people go. Pharaoh didn't want to, so the Lord sent many plagues, plague after plague. And each time after a plague, Moses would say, let my people go. And Pharaoh wouldn't let the people go. So, Finally, the Lord sent one last plague. It was to all have all the oldest sons of each family die. And even Pharaoh's son. The children of Israel, Moses' people, were supposed to paint red lamb's blood over their door as a sign that they were followers of Jehovah. And then the plague would pass them over. But Pharaoh didn't know this. So Pharaoh and a lot of the Egyptian families lost their firstborn son in this last plague. And then the Pharaoh softened his heart and let the people go. Wow, that's a crazy story. It is, but we can learn from it. If we soften our hearts, the Lord won't have to make us soften our heart. Mom, I want to soften my heart, but I don't know how. We can pray. The Lord will help us soften our hearts if we desire it. Okay, I can pray about it. Thanks for your help, Mom. But what do I do about Tommy? Just be kind always. I'll try. And I'll try to pray and soften my heart. That's my girl. We can do this. Tommy needs us. Okay, 
I'm gonna go play with Jack now. All right. Bye. Bye. Susie, you're here. Yeah. I had to go and try to get my mom to help with Tommy. He was being mean. And I didn't want him playing with us if he was going to be mean. Oh, yeah. What did your mom do? We didn't find Tommy because he hid. But my mom told me that the Lord wanted us to have Tommy in our family and that I need to soften my heart. Like Moses and the Pharaoh and how the Moses sent plagues to help soften the Pharaoh's heart. I don't want the Lord to send plagues, so I'm going to pray and ask him to help me soften my heart in a nice way. That's a great idea. I don't mind playing with Tommy. Yeah, but he was being mean, so maybe we can play with him when he's kind. Well, kindness begins with me. Let's be kind to him and maybe he'll be kind back. That's a great idea. Talk to your family about how you might be able to soften your heart or how the Lord can help you. Is there something that's hard for you? Is there something you don't like about your life? You could pray and ask the Lord to help you understand and to soften your heart. Pause the video and talk to your family about how you might be able to soften your heart. A soft heart is a good heart. Help me one another. Follow the commandment by being kind to others. Love God, trust God. I thank my great God that he has given us a portion of his spirit to soften our hearts. Alma 24, verse 8. Hi, Jack! Hi. Oh, hi, Tommy! We're so glad you found us. We were just talking about how we'd like to play with you. Tommy, we'd really like to play with you, but we need you to be kind. Please don't call me names or pull my hair. I will try my best <laughs> to be kind. <laughs> it's a little bit hard for me. <laughs> I know the Lord can help me soften my heart. Thanks, Thanks for watching.